What's up guys? It's me again. And I should probably think of like a solid um, statement for my intros because I am really random at times. And today I got Crow Cresta. Pro, um, Chow will be right here in the empty blue space below. Crow Cresta is Ilmos deck with the taste of my previous deck. Link would be here in the yellow space. Um, it was inspired by Crow Cresta because in my previous deck I did not have Medal Chase, which is a really great addition to this deck. So, yeah, let's get on with the deck profile. I'll explain each and every card as we go through it. Like, each and every use you could possibly think of to get this card. Um, to do with this card. So first is 3 Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo. One, because you normal summon it, fetch a uh, transformation art. You normally go for super art into a white dragon ninja. First, because you never want to draw a white dragon ninja. Or you could go... If you're going something against ghost tricks or anti-meta things, stuff like that, go ninja to art of transformation into dark cymorg like first turn. Even before they even make a move, like their draw phase, stuff like that. Second is because when it's special summon, you can add one ninja monster from your hand, except itself. So you got three targets. One is Upstart, two is Ebisu, and the third and last target is a Karakuri monster, which is Suzanne. Oh yeah, sorry for not posting for a while. It's been a while. I'm back. And with an awesome target. So, one thing you can do with this is Rota for it, and then like... Okay, I'll explain the 1 for 4 combo. 1 for 4 combo because all you need is either a Rota, a Duality, or a Hanzo. Or Duality into a Hanzo, or just straight up draw Hanzo. So that's three different ways to get Hanzo in your opening hand. And that happens a lot more than you think it should be happening. So the 1 for 4 combo, you just need one hand. All you gotta do is normal summon it. Now it's in the field. Search this. Once you search that, um, put Hanzo into the grave. I'm gonna put it to the left hand side. Special summon Hoot Cake, which I'm gonna be putting here. Hoot Cake banishes this Hanzo. To special summon a level 3 Madolce. My Madolce of choice is Bapple. Overlay for both of them for Levier. Levier searches. Um, Levier special summons back Hanzo. Detaching one level 3 Madolce. And Hanzo gets its effect to get. A ninja. I usually go for upstart. So your foul field would be like one transformation, which you get either magical planner or Vulcan the Divine or anything at all you want to do with it. You can have one earth in the grave for Redox and one earth attached to Levier. A Levier with one material, a Dark in the field, and the Light in the hand. So BLS would be live, like, that easily. And then, Hanzo would be um, in attack position, a defense position, depending on how you summoned it. And then it's gonna be, like, yeah, whatever. It's gonna be the dark and the light. Also, Levier is a wind, so you also 
um, in case you draw Dark Symark, you're also going to be able to summon him pretty easily just because he had Hanzo first turn. So it's technically not a 1 for 4, it's like a fuel your grave combo ish for this. But you can definitely just tech in that combo anytime. So yeah, that's one straight um straight up very very solid one for four combo for for Hanzo. Next would be next monster would be uh Upstart Golden Ninja. Upstart Golden Ninja one because it's a light. Two, because you can make XYZs with it with the Breeze Dragon. And three, it's a ninja. And four, it's an XYZ play by itself. And you have you run like 13 traps, so it's easy to just dump any of those 13 traps. Don't dump bottomless. I usually don't dump bottomless. Dump anything else with bottomless. Um, next is Masked Ninja Ebisu. So, yeah, it's a ninja, level 4, make rank 4s. It's a win, so Dark Simorg can be live most more of the times. Like, if I don't, if I was not able to get into Levier, I would just call the Haunted Hanzo, search this when I draw. Dark Simorg, and now I've fulfilled its conditions. Like, that easily. Like, wow, who would have thought of that? And then, last reason for Ebisu is another combo with Dark Simorg. It returns all their traps, all their set back row, if they're not expecting it. And then you drop Simorg. Just like that. Like, you transformation it or something. So now that now they're gonna be having like useless back row in hand because they can't set it. Not unless they um, do something to Dark Simorg without using back row, which is a task on itself. And if worse comes to wor comes to worse, you could just save his own Dark Simorg, and that's like a really hard time for your opponent. Um, next we got the chaos ish part. You got one Redox, Chaos Dragon-ish part, one Debris, one White Dragon Ninja, one Dark Simorg, and one BLS. Basically, these are all Dark mon um, Boss Monsters. Um, Redox, because of the Pseudo-Monster Reborn effect, and it's a 3,000 wall, 3,000 wall anytime you want, because most likely you're going to get at least two Earths in the grave when you get Redox. At least. I'm not saying you're always gonna get, but most of the time. Next to Breeze, you got two targets in the deck, both of which are searchable and summonable from the deck, I think. No, uh, Upstart Golden Ninja, I think, is not summonable, but it's searchable by Hanzo. So you got two. Your first option would be Debris into Upstart into XYZ or Debris into Bapple into Black Rose into Nuke the Field. Those are your two options. If you're in a pinch, I would Nuke the Field, balance the game out. If you're still in a pinch uh, and you only have Upstart in the grave, I would still go XYZ, Exiton, balance the game out. It's just. When you draw debris, it's like a backup plan for everything. Like, oh no, they established this big, massive field you just can't go get over. Black Rose it, Exiton it, debris does both. Um, next, White Dragon Ninja. It cannot be special summoned with a unless it's a Ninjutsu Art effect. But more importantly, spell and trap cards you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. So it creates a lock with safe zone because they can't destroy safe zone and with safe zone targeting white dragon ninja, white dragon ninja can't be targeted. So nothing can be targeted. 
your next um, thing is Dark Shimori. I have explained this, and you run one, two, three darks, one, two, three winds, and that's pretty much it. Not unless you're counting these darks and winds, which is a whole different story, but you have darks and winds there. Also, lights, which explains the BLS part. Utopia. It's what I go to if I don't have a light target for BLS and I need one. And it's a good standalone card in itself. Next you got the Triple Madolche Magellan. We're coming into the Madolche engine of this deck, which Crowcrusta inspired me to play. Somebody's downstairs, but... You know what does? Normal summon, search Metal Trait. You can search Creed Cake and then have a rank 3 play right after. Also, the double summon, which makes rank 4 is easier in your whole life. Double summon can get you Tiramisu, which is an awesome, awesome card that doesn't even target. Makes no sense. Um, Hoot Cake, I already explained. A little bit when I was explaining the Hanzo combo, but the other nice thing about it is you could get Soul of Silver Mountain, which is a lockdown card for like do this. They can't activate spell the set spell and trap. Also, if it destroys, you could special summon the Mermelio, blow up even more back row. It's like the ultimate anti back row card. All you need is two level three Earth. Which is Madalche Hoot Cake and Bapple or your Karakuri engine. Next is your Trap Tricks engine. I explained this. This is your in the gadget video. This is your MST. End face MST. This is your Trap Searcher. This is fuel for Upstart Golden Ninja. This Worst comes to worst is a ninjutsu art of transformation target. And this is a level 4, it makes rank 4s, it's everything. It's a 1600 beater, even that is relevant. Next is your Karakuri engine. Both of these are searchable, and when you have one of them in the hand, which is pretty easy to, easy to do, you can just Nanishi, make rank 3s, or make Vulcan, bounce back, uh, continuous trap, and boom. Oh, and you can make Star Eater with it with BLS if you really want to, but I, I wouldn't want to. It's up to you. Alright, spells. Double summon makes XYZs much, much, much quicker. Magellene, make Tiramisu, boom, the turn two. Like, boom, boom, boom. Next is Draw Power. Two Magic Planner and two Pot of Duality. Both of which are for consistency and faster gameplay. Like, faster gameplay. I'm not kidding. Also, Magic Planner, Safe Zone, combo, boom. Get rid of a monster, draw two for free. Too good. Um, next is Rhoda. Get your hands of really fast because it's the main ish card of the deck. And because of the 1 for 4 combo I just re recently told you all about. Super art because it's what you get with Hanzo if you're not going for the 1 for 4 or Cymorg or Scary Moth. Uh, Two Phoenix Chain because there's, they are continuous. Double Call of the Haunted because it's Call of the Haunted. It's your end phase MSC. It's your search uh, darker wind with Hanzo. And it's your bring back Cymor when they're gonna like use Jack Boss or something. Safe Zone. For the locks, for the protection, for everything, for the magic planner combo. 
And then your trap hole targets for general protection and bottomless, very, very good. Um, trap hole is not bad. It stops normal summons really fine. Void trap hole and trap checks trap hole nightmare for special summons. And this one is an effect negation. Which, if you watch Kokesta's um, playtesting hands theory, he has a very good theory about if you don't have a fiendish chain, get this. Um, next, extra deck, because why not? Star Eater, Debris and Redox. And more or less, you special summon Redox from the grave if you have sorry, um, a Star Eater available. I've brought him up brought him out like a couple times. You could switch him out if you really don't want him, but I prefer him. Next is Black Rose blow up your field. Uh blow up the opponent's field, Vulcan the Divine, bounce back back row. Uh rank threes, all you need are Levier, Mech Quip. You could change this to something like Zen Mains, I don't really care. Soul of Silver Mountain back row hit and special summoning trap uh um trap tricks Mermelio from the grave for even more back row hit uh blade armor ninja for some really really awesome otks and it's wind this is the uh light this is a wind this is a light and staple and it's 106 dollars in tcgplayer.com um, cowboy, because Brain 800 for game is the best feeling in the word world. Word. Tiramisu because of double summon Magdalene. Um, Maestro, it's a dark. If I don't have a dark target, 101 staple. Utopia staple ish, and it's a light. If I don't have a light target. Black Ship, a Dark, and Seal Swarm Roach, a Dark. Which I usually side out if they don't really play anything over 5. I side out for like a Gandiva if they're playing lo level 4 or lower. Or a Vistolar. That's it for the main and extra deck. I hope you like it, and Crocresta, if you're watching this. Check out that one for four Hanzo um, thing. All you need is to protect Hanzo one turn, and boom, one for four, and rank the access. Like what? All right. Thanks for watching, Orange Gadget. Bye. Yeah. Bye.